Hello everyone, this is my project submission for CS50 Introduction to Artificial Intelligence for the project named Traffic. So without wasting any more time, let's get into the code. Uh, first, let me share the screen for the project. Uh, for the project, okay. So here we go. I hope you can see it. So, um, so there were two requirements. One was for us to uh, read uh, to write the function for the load data, and another one for the get model. The load data does uh, read the function, um, read the files from the directory. Um, you don't have to go through the code, but yeah, it's there. Oh, yeah, it does, and it does read the data from uh, from the format that is specified, uh, which is uh, NumPy and DRA. And going into the model again, uh, there were a few iterations that I tried. Uh, you might find a few commented out codes, so that didn't work out good, so they were changed. But yeah, they worked. So without wasting further time, let me show you the execution. Okay, let's go here, execute it. And it might take a few seconds to load the files, but once it is done, yeah, I think it's uh, it has loaded the files now. Now it's running the report and let's see what the accuracy now would be. Although I'd seen accuracies go up to 95%, but uh, I think this is also not that bad. Uh, let's go on to 90, okay, maybe low. Okay, about 90, 88, 88% on the testing. Okay, that's not bad. So this is this was the project execution and uh, let me show you the, what uh, I have found out from the testing. Uh, so the some of the things that I inferred from the testing were the different number, like when you increase or decrease the number of congestion and pooling layers, the accuracy does increase uh, uh, significantly up to a point, then it starts to plateau and I've seen it go down even if I have too many layers, but uh, the side effect is the training parameters increase and the training time also increases. So again, if you have, if you have many epochs, then it will take you a lot of time but yeah having a maybe say uh, i got good accuracy results for three pooling and convolution layers uh yeah so that was for pooling and convolution and if i have like if i vary the size of the filter and like uh, what's the filter size and the number of filters that I'm applying. I had seen that the size doesn't, like the size of the filter does not have any significant uh, changes in the accuracy though, uh, but the number of filters we apply, uh, like the more the number of filters we have, the accuracy does increase uh, significantly, which is good. And moving on to the pooling size and the number of, uh, 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 pooling size is that uh, there wasn't much of a significant increase in the accuracy, but yeah, the training time did uh, reduce. But if I have too many pooling layers and the size of the input layer just reduces like two by two or something like that, then the accuracy is bad. So don't get it that down. Maybe reduce, maybe two, three, don't get it too, don't make it too small of a uh, layer that would be one and yeah the hidden layers do increase the accuracy but having too many hidden layers with uh, hidden units again increases your uh, training time and the complexity even uh, the drop down yes the drop down accuracy i couldn't see much of a difference because anyhow there were like 10 epochs in each of them so there wasn't uh, that much of a difference that I noticed with uh, changing the drop down percent, but I'm aware that having a middle range somewhere around in your 50s, 40s, and 60s, it's good. So it, it reduces the overfitting. And you can uh, find all the details in these files. Uh, so, yeah, that would be it for this project uh, submission. Thank you. Bye.